We turn out of Bedford County where we're learning the man shot by deputies yesterday morning has life threatening injuries. That's according to state police who haven't shared much else, including the man's name. Now investigators tell us deputies tried to stop a car for reckless driving just after 11 Sunday morning that started a chase that ended in a crash and was eventually followed by the shooting. Thankfully, no deputies were hurt tonight. We're diving into the risks and regulations involving police pursuits. WFXR's Anna McDougall joins us live in the newsroom. Anna, I know you talked to a former police officer mm -hmm. as well as the Bedford Commonwealth's attorney. What can you tell us? Yeah, guys, well, a lot of times police pursuits are handled a little bit differently just because they do have the potential to, potential to become extremely dangerous. And while deputies say that yesterday's chase did begin with reckless driving, oftentimes these pursuits begin with something as simple as a traffic stop and can end up being as serious as one or more people getting hurt or even killed. Many pursuits do not end well. So when something as simple as a traffic stop turns into a pursuit, law enforcement officers have to make split second decisions. Do the risks outweigh the consequences that could come of this? Consequences, which former officer Todd Burke says can include property damage, injury, or even death, not just for the police and the suspects, but for innocent people too. You have to realize what are those costs? Because of that, he says each jurisdiction has specific guidelines for pursuits and some don't allow them at all. It's real important for police agencies to evaluate their policies and keep updating and reevaluate. And in cases where a chase ends in use of force like the one in Bedford County on Sunday, the Commonwealth's attorney says the nature of the pursuit will be considered in court. Whether that was a aggravated pursuit, whether it was extremely reckless, whether other individuals were potentially harmed or could have been harmed. All of that plays a role in determining whether the amount of force used by a law enforcement agency is justified under the circumstances. Now, another thing to note is that the environment of the chase can also have a big impact on how law enforcement handles it. So whether or not it's light or dark outside, what the weather conditions are like, as well as how many people and cars are around. That all plays in to how law enforcement handles these situations and the risks involved. I'm live in the newsroom, Anna McDougall, WFXR News.